Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all real numbers a, a times 0 is equal to 0. Okay, now we're basing our proof off of the field properties of the real numbers. And there's three facts that we're going to use, which come from the field properties of the real numbers. The first is the distributive law. The second fact that we're going to use is, for every real number a, a plus 0 is equal to a. And third, if a plus b is equal to a plus c, then b is equal to c, right? The cancellation law of addition. Right, and remember, these three facts come from the field properties of the real numbers, right? The first is one of the properties itself. The second is also one of the field properties of the real numbers. It's just that we know that zero is the only real number that satisfies this condition. And third, this fact can be deduced from the field properties of the real numbers. And we've already proven that this third fact is true. So now let's get into the proof of this theorem. And we're trying to prove a statement about every real number. So give me an arbitrary real number. I'll call it a. And our goal is to use that a times zero is equal to zero. And so to start, check this out. If we compute a times zero plus zero, well, we know from this second fact that a times zero plus zero is equal to a times zero. But also from this second fact, we have that zero plus zero is equal to zero. So we can replace the zero here with zero plus zero. And now applying the first fact, the distributive law, we can distribute the a across and we get that this is equal to a times zero plus a times zero. So notice a times zero plus zero is equal to a times zero plus a times zero. And so at this point, now we're going to apply the third fact, right? If we call a times zero capital A, call zero capital B, and a times zero capital C, we see that a plus b is equal to a plus c. Well, by this fact, it follows that b is equal to c. So really we have that zero is equal to a times zero. So a times zero is equal to zero. And so this completes the proof. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.